Hi there, this is Adam with Geoprobe Systems here today to introduce you to the 6712 DT. So join me for a quick walk around here of the machine. We'll start out here on the front end, on the business end of the machine. One thing I really like about this machine is the simplistic design of the control panel. Here down below, we're gonna have all of your positioning functions of the machine, such as your tilt lever, your in and out, your mass dump, your winch controls, and your blade controls here from the front of the control panel. This machine has a mass which has an optional side shift option which can be controlled right here. As well as auxiliary hydraulics here with a control valve right below it. Moving up to the top here, we have the working section of the control panel. We have levers for your hammer function, your probe cylinder up and down, your auger rotation, your hammer rotation in case you were doing any kind of concrete coring at the surface, as well as your main winch. Here in the middle section of the control panel, we have all of our switches to control the machine throttle, the engine throttle, the regen switches, your CPT function, switch between uh, low gear and high gear on the auger head, as well as your drop hammer switch. This machine doesn't have a drop hammer, but it is an option if you'd like to add one. We have two safety functions here towards the front of the machine. We have an emergency e-stop on the control panel, as well as your safety cable uh, next to the control panel. The highlight of this machine is going to be the patented Geoprobe GH63 percussion hammer. With 67 inches of stroke, this machine is going to be a great option for any of your direct push work, uh, direct push sampling, or injection style work. There are a few extra features on the front of the hammer for pulling out your rods, such as the flip down latch if you're going to use a threaded pull cap, or the V-block on the front if you were going to use a rod grip puller to pull out your rods. This machine also comes with a two-speed auger head, which offers 2,500 foot-pounds of torque. Another option on this machine is a 2,500 pound winch with extendable winch mast. Working our way over to the side of the machine, you'll see this machine has quick connect hydraulics. This machine actually comes as a modular design in which you could separate the mast, the powertrain, and the undercarriage into three separate units. This would be for transporting to remote areas either via helicopter or crane, with each section weighing about 2,000 pounds each. Working our way a little bit further back, you'll see this machine has manual track controls. It comes standard with a tethered remote, which will plug in right behind this e-stop. And it also comes with an optional wireless remote for track control. Here we do have our new MD4 uh, display screen. This will give real-time information to the operator on all the machine information and service notes. We do have a few extra safety features on the back here. You'll see in another e-stop button, as well as a fire extinguisher and an onboard owner's manual uh, for infield support. You'll see here on the side, we do have the, the sight glass for your hydraulic fluid level, your fill cap on top for filling up your tank, and then a side port uh, access for cleaning out your tank when you're ready to service the, the hydraulic fluid. So now come with me towards the back of the machine. Here towards the back of the machine, you'll see we have our rear stabilizing blade. This gives extra stability to the machine as well as tooling transport for carrying uh, drop racks or things like that around the field. Moving a little bit further back, now we'll take a closer look at our engine compartment. You can tell a service was on our mind on the design of this machine as access to the engine is very easy. We have a top removable cover. We have a side panel for easy access to all of your filters, your oil level, as well as your batteries and water separator that are underneath this removable table right here. We do have a side table here on the machine, which will serve for any field work purposes, but is also removable for any further access to service items. Thanks for joining us today on this walk around of the 6712 DT. If you're looking for any further information, you can visit us on the website or give us a call.